Looks like that volume is a little low and this volume is a little high. Okay, here we go. So, now we got the sound fixed. Um, yesterday I put a call out to some friends in the modeling community to uh, find some more pictures of our structure from Nanjing, China. And I got to apologize to my Asian viewers. I indeed called it Nianjing China yesterday in the title and uh, I apologize well let's just say it was lost in translation shall we so like I said we put out a call to uh, some modeling friends some scale modeling friends uh, on the other side of the world um, of course uh, most of those friends are not model railroaders, but they are in fact miniaturists who, uh, you know, have the same hobby, but because we live in the world we do, uh, they, they don't, the, our hobbies do not connect. But my hobby does connect with them, and I asked them to uh, maybe ask their friends or followers to uh, see if they could come up with some photographs or maybe even an address of this location of uh, our structure in China and uh, our, my friends produced uh, I want to thank uh, Henry Chang Lee uh, Joshua Smith and the uh, uh, the photographer who took our original photo, Peter Howarth. 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 <laughs> so as I get set up here, uh, feel free to share this post. I want to thank those guys because they got me two pictures, an address, and some coordinates. I just want to find the coordinates to put into chat. Where did it go? Where did it go? I hope everything's going well in your neck of the woods. It is kind of cold here. This is uh, kind of cold. I, I do admit that. There we go. There we go. So I'm gonna put the coordinates in our chat. And move on. So you can plug those into uh, Google Earth, and uh, we can. Uh, oh, we got some likes. Thank you, Vilius. Get the chronos, get our timer down, gone, gone. 
So our one of our photos that we had added to the mix is uh, up front of the hotel um, before the letters were painted out. As you can see, it's got a more crimson colored red uh, for the front door. And uh, while I would like to move on to the side wall today, we don't have a proper photo of it. So I can't put the proportions out properly in my mind's eye. Uh, so that's that. Um, actually, we're not going to stream too long, maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Just to be able to get this uh, out there, uh, the the coordinates are in the chat, like I said. And uh, if you know somebody from China, or you know uh, uh, an influencer in the Asian community, uh, maybe you could ask them to uh, put out a search party so that we can get photographs of the the side walls and all the different walls in this structure. Sure, I'd like to build the rest of the structures in the photo as well. But let's just move on this project as it stands. So I'm gonna go over to the desk. I'm gonna turn down the desk mic and uh, we'll go from there. How's that? Feel free to, to chat. Feel free to, feel free. Feel free to uh, leave questions in the chat. I'll be coming back momentarily to uh, keep an eye on that. So I got my coffee. We got our brownie and uh, everything's ready to go. First, cut out uh, some. We're going to cut out some pieces here to build the inside structure of this model just so that we stand it up and sit it in different configurations. that microphone off now I'm not gonna muck with the camera like I did yesterday sorry about that I really need to get an autofocus camera to replace it I don't have one yet I actually had two of these uh, single focus cameras or fixed focus cameras and uh, I uh, I gave one away because they're just a pain in the butt match the height of this this is this is an interior wall I got my other knife 
plugged into here to make sure it doesn't fall over. So this is just an interior support structure. Uh, be able to give me the chance to uh, build off of So actually, uh, last stream, we did this uh, section of wall, and then uh, after the fact, uh, my son came home and was pretty pumped about playing a video game with his friends from school, and uh, I gave him uh, an hour and a half to play the computer, which, you know, is is long enough for him to play but it came at the, at the time I was ready to stream so I wasn't able to do this on camera but what I did was I glued the wall we worked on in yesterday's stream to our foam core um, with crazy glue uh, I did it in such a way so that uh, it wouldn't fog up the glass our glass is perfect uh, purposefully uh, mucked up with a matte, a matte coat, clear matte coat from a spray paint can, and then I uh, wiped it off with a, a sponge to give it the real mucky, dusty look to it. And then added some more panels, subscribed uh, styrene to the top edge. And I've got two more to add uh, and details to add to this section here. Uh, this wall, I haven't got a proper picture of it yet and uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. And this wall over here, uh, if you look at the photo, it actually comes out like this and then comes back. So there's a little, it's a weird wall. Like, I bet you the building is, is square, but there, I don't know what's going on with it. And I, I'd like some photos to get to that part, too. So today, we're going to put these panels on. We're going to uh, put some details and uh, just some minor stuff, just to, to put a little bit of a stream out today. I want I want to do a stream... A couple of days a week and uh, for this week this is stream number two, two. so to keep uh, our lopsided structure from flipping over I'm just gonna stick the knife in the back there and have it stand up I got the music running so I don't have to run my mouth off the whole stream. I'm going to go back to the computer right now to check to see if anybody has uh, asked any questions and then we'll dig into our project at hand.
So, hello Tom, hello Sam, hello Vilius. I hope I'm getting your name right, Vilius. It kind of reminds me of like a, a Harry Potter wizard name. I would expect Vilius to be a name from Harry Potter. I hope, hope that puts a smile on your face because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So one of the things uh, from the photos that I've got from today to the photos that I received that were taken a few years ago, I've noticed that there are some changes on the model. Specifically, we've got bars on top of the windows here. Um, we also have bars uh, on this window. And I want to take care of that today. to use what to use the bottom of these panels these are uh, insulated uh, oh, I don't know what you call them they're, they're, they're the kind of insulated panels you see around freezers so I'm just gonna add some rust to the bottom so it looks like the foam Kind of getting old and nasty. Do the same over here. We're going to put this cap on because the alcohol based. Rusting solution from Model Tech Studios. This is good stuff. painting tray we're gonna hit it with uh, some clear coat lock that stuff in just in case we start weathering it again We're going to have to clean out that lid somehow because it's starting to get hard to spray. One of my pet peeves with uh, spray cans actually is the way they just kind of muck up on you for no apparent reason. I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'm also going to look at the bottom of the panels here to make sure that... A little light. 
my small brushes here. And so small doesn't have any. All brush, bristled brush. There we go. Okay. The tweezers actually a good look at her picture. So it looks like our panel here and a panel over here has tiles on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put one panel on and then we're going to put a piece of wood on and glue some tiles to it. Give it some age. Actually, we're gonna put some color on it first. Get some stain on both sides of it, pull it out quickly. Get the excess off the back. Let that dry for a second. Hello, Hunter. <laughs> How you doing? I'm my crazy glue because that's what we've been gluing our multiple mediums together with. You have to have a glue that's going to be strong enough or, or uh, able to get at all the different types of substances and gluing metal isn't the easiest thing in the world so.
cut a bit off the edge here to make them not too big. You're rarely ever going to see me measure stuff. I apologize for that. I apologize, but I'm not sorry How about that. The way I work. Cut the top gray off because it looks too big. Nope. picture here we've got a strip of uh, what looks like tar paper I got some black construction paper right here on our board so thick Now why am I using weld bond to glue this section on? Because uh, if I don't like it, I can easily pull it off and the weld bond will pull off uh, completely. So because this is a showpiece, I don't want to have crazy glue on it that's going to crust up and have to be chiseled off. I'm going to put on this, this weld bond that can be easily pulled off. get my tiles over here because I forgot about doing those first I'm gonna check I think I've seen some uh, activity on the computer so I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm up on all the questions
Hello, Philippe. I want to thank you for commenting. Let me turn down this. Seems to catch my mic easily. Oh well, this is, it just happens, I guess. I guess I can pause it here. We'll pause the music, there we go. Huh. Something's getting caught up on that mic. I guess that's why I'm muting it, right? Okay, so Philippe, thank you for your comment. So far, so good. I want to see it when it was when it is done. <laughs> so do I. So do I. Um, Abu Samir, Samir, it's good to see you, buddy. Uh, can't see the house details. Yeah. I'm um, sorry about that. That's because my uh, my camera is a fixed focus and not an automatic. <sighs> Struggling with the hardware. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Patrons, right right there. Patrons help uh, get cameras that will fix things. <laughs> uh Yeah, I'm wearing a Twitch monk's robe. <laughs> Hi, Edward. Good morning. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, hello, Charles. Thanks for watching. There we go. Back to the grind. I'm going to get rid of this microphone too because it's a little loud.
Okay. Now I'm gonna put some sealant on those, so I'm gonna spray the cap here, get a little puddle. Uh, get a use a water, a brush that's a little wet with water so that it's easy to clean up after I get this solvent on it. Pick some up put it all over these tiles <sighs> get back in the water clean off quickly Now these tiles uh, in the color photo that you can see I, I don't have a color photo here I've got uh, this black and white photo but these tiles are all colored like an orangey color and I'm gonna start this coloring off with my rusting solution here and then I'm gonna end up putting on real paint real orange paint to get the variation I want on it down a little alcohol and ink color oh. I'll let that dry for a few seconds.
nicely dried up. I'm gonna take my orange paint here. Real orange paint. There, that looks starting to get some color there. Little steps. We'll let it. We'll let that dry too. go okay so I want to do to get some dark paint to, uh, to seal the top to use to put the, the caulking that they used it looks gray in the photo so I'm gonna go get some gray and a toothpick to add that to our model Now when adding paint to uh, a very small area, it's best to make a custom brush or tool for adding that paint, in my opinion. Usually these are my opinions. Take them with a grain of salt. As uh, I've learned all these in my travels. And I prefer to think that most of you are going to make your own decisions in your travels. And if anything I do makes sense to you, feel free to use it. Uh, if you use it as part of one of your clinics though, I prefer that you credit me for it. Because there's a lot of people out there today who don't ever share this stuff. There's a lot of people today who don't share anything they do. They don't share how, how they do it. Lots of people like to share how good they are. 
I, I don't really feel like I'm all that good. But I do like to share... How I do things. Knife. Knife falling on the crotch area. Have fun! Chew it into a little wedge there so that we can dab it on as opposed to pulling it across. Sorry for my big head. Got a custom a custom tool to add our paint. Do we want it? I think the most important point that I would like to get across is don't worry if you don't have full coverage of the area uh, best to let things dry and to go back to it then to end up putting too much on and uh, trying to take stuff off. It's like it's like they said when I first started carpentry. You can't find a board stretcher. You, you better measure twice. And you know what? They always send you to get the board stretcher. And if you go and try to find the board stretcher. And you don't find it, they'll turn you around and try to find and get you to go find the checkerboard paint. Uh, to Samir and uh, everybody else who's looking for close-up details, I do add photos uh, taken from the camera, uh, my telephone or my smartphone camera uh, after the fact, and th those will be added to the Modeler's Guild uh, so you can see everything close up. I recognize that you probably don't see anything that I just did, but let's just suffice. Let's just uh, agree that I did something. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, something that I've added uh, off camera is a spot for an LED, and we also got colorings back there. As you can see, I put the light in there. You can get the green color and the, the red curtains. Now this is, uh, you know, this is not in the photo. In the photo, they've got plexiglass uh, windows and stuff, uh, the red in the windows. And I didn't really like that. So I used my modeler's license to add some uh, nicer details to the the second floor and I also added a window out front that is not on the structure so uh, this window might get covered up to look like the structure but I love the second floor how it looks right now. now I'm gonna go back to the computer check out one more time see what everybody is saying if anybody's there at all I want to thank everybody for watching we'll probably be shutting this stream down soon Thanks again. Please follow uh, the Modelers Guild, uh, Modeling with Ron Perry, or the Ron Perry Facebook channel. If you'd like to support this kind of uh, uh, hobby uh, fellowship, uh, you know, a lot of people charge money for this stuff. I don't charge money. I just give you the ability to send me a tip. And uh, that's at uh, patreon.com slash ronperry, P-A-R-E. Thanks for watching.